came here for like a week just to see if I liked it. And I did, and I just, as soon as I turned 18, I moved. The isolation of being like super north does influence and affect. Until after we had met. Yeah. Like, we were both playing, 19. like, interested in music and, like, going to shows and being involved that way. It's so, like, you know, younger, but actually, like, wanting to play and do something with it didn't happen until moved here and, like, after I met Brandy. In the beginning, I wasn't super interested in being in a band with my boyfriend. Yeah, I was you were kind very of, against it. I was first. against it, but you know, it's kind of like a nerve-wracking thing to start up something with someone you're also emotionally involved with. But I feel like now it's like more comfortable that it's just us two. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, that's like my preferred. <laughs> Should I tell them the story of you? No. It was in the kitchen here, and I was walking with a glass. I fit. It was an empty cup, but Brandy came over here, and she she likes to do like handstands or like headstands, and she, she just like went to go do it against the door, yeah. and then kicked the glass like into my nuts, <laughs> and the glass my heel. the glass like flew over there and somehow didn't break. Not my crotch though. <laughs> Winters can be hard. The snow lasts up to eight months. I think at one point, two winters ago, we were the coldest place in the world. We were colder than Siberia. Keeping yourself busy and motivated during winter is necessary because it's easy to fall in that trap of feeling isolated or just I get like the depressed. Winter, I get like the winter blues, get cabin fever and go crazy. I used 175 prints, 100 original collages, all handmade, no digital reproduction of any sort. And I just repasted it on. I want to do another clear coat just so that you don't see the white lines. But I think it's really colorful in here. Too. Oh, sorry, I have to answer the phone. We associate with people that aren't super shitty, but we do live in our own bubble to a degree. People that live here strictly for work, to make money, and then fuck off, you know? We're just that northern shitty oil city, inferior to Calgary. I feel like that's the stereotype. You just try to find ways to combat that and do something positive. When you can't be outside for longer than five minutes, you can be in the tropical paradise of West Edmonton Mall an eyesore of an attraction, but But I find just, that a lot of people that come here from out of town... They want to go there. Oh, I just got a 10,000! Get the 44 Magnum! This one is 45 and 9 though. I also have the Glock 940 and 45. In the revolver. I want to see what the gun looks like. We aren't worried about the bullets. What's the choices for the targets? Grim Reaper, Alien, Cowboy, Cactus, Cowboy, Zombie. Just don't think it's E.T., okay? Because E.T. is nice.
Sometimes I'll get distracted and I won't think about what we're actually playing. <laughs> <laughs> and usually Ian notices because I'll flub a note. But most <laughs> of the time, I'm trying to like concentrate on the song or just like being in the moment and feeling that energy that you get when you're playing live. I feel like we're in a weird spot because... We're always the uh, oddball on the bill. Playing a punk show, people maybe don't get it because there's not a drummer. Mm -hmm. It's not like a standard kind of rock format. With the experimental area, it's like it's too... Too boring. fast or abrasive. And we play shows with either. We had lost a friend last January. He was very involved in the music scene. He played in this band that was like, it was unbelievable. They were called Ener Energetic Action and they were hugely inspirational and they were very, always very supportive of us. And we played a lot. We played a lot of shows with them. I don't think we knew how to deal with it. Oh, I think we're still dealing with it. Mm -hmm. I'd like to think I'm a little more aware and conscious of what I want now just because something like that made me realize how short life is. Your friends and the people that you connect with on a personal level, in the end, are more of an inspiration. That's why I quit my job, and I was just like, I think I gotta focus on the things that I actually want. It's like, fuck this, I wanna like- Live your go life, and travel yeah. and tour and do the things I wanna do. exceeded my expectation. Yeah. I feel like we are successful because we're having like a great time doing this. I quit my other job to go on tour and I got an opportunity to get one shift a week at the booth and it's now like my favorite job I've ever had. You're encouraged to just kind of do whatever you want. People visit, I can play music. I think it's a good metaphor. My, that my, my job at the booth, that it's like a microcosm of our experience in Edmonton. Seemingly boring, dull, shitty, but in actuality, it's very positive and very rewarding. Edmonton specifically is very mundane, but you can make it super fun. <laughs>